Hi everyone, I'm Ezekiel Bruni, and I'm bringing the manly stubble back. But I'm also here to review Site123.com. Now, Site123 is a site builder that lets you just drag and drop things around. Well, not really drag and drop, we'll get to that. But it lets you easily build a website without having to learn to code and learn to lay things out on a page all by yourself. And let's have a look at it right now, shall we? This is the Site123 homepage in a different browser because uh, it won't let me see the homepage when I'm logged in. Anyway, anyway, it claims to be by far the easiest free website builder. And frankly, this company actually does a lot to back up that claim. Now, I will warn you now, it is not the most flexible, most complex, or most customizable site builder. But it is definitely one of the easiest. And so if you need a very simple site, it may well be worth it for you. Let's have a look, shall we? This is what it looks like on the inside. Now, some of the major features of the Site123 Builder include, well, everything you would need to build an online store. Uh, you can put a store on any website except on the free plan where you would, wouldn't be able to accept payments anyway. There are also a lot of third-party apps and plugins for uh, search engine optimization, live chat, things like that. And you can make multilingual sites. Not every site builder can do this. There are a lot that do not support multi-language sites. So if you do business in several countries, then uh, yeah, yeah, go for uh, site123 is a good option to check out anyway. So this is what the builder looks like. This is what the final product looks like. Not too bad if I do say so myself. I mean, if I'd spent more than 15 to 20 minutes on it, it would probably look better. Uh, e actually editing these things is pretty easy. You can edit the content of, for example, of those three columns you saw earlier quickly and easily. You have short descriptions and long descriptions for things. We're just going to discard those changes. If you want to add more content, you just click those little plus buttons in between sections and add a new one. Let's add a team section. And it gives you example content to work with. Now, we don't actually need or want this, but... Oh, you can choose from different designs as well, which is very handy. For example, if Jack Hendricks is your founder, you can put his picture, make his picture bigger. But we're just going to get rid of that. And let's show you some of those other features I was talking about. Let's see, to add a new page, I think we add... We can go to the app market, and this is where you can put in, the, from the app market is where you add stuff that's, uh, you know, from third parties. However, to even see the rest of the apps, you have to, uh, and to use them, you have to upgrade. You can't use third party apps and add-ons on the free plan. E-commerce, there you go. You can, adding the store is as simple as clicking that button, and then adding some, uh, products in. You should choose your images over here, upload them, put in the pro uh, item descriptions, the price, whether it's on sale or not, all of that stuff. All the stuff you would need to run a, a pretty basic store. Honestly, it's not as complex as what you'd get from Wix or <laughs> certainly not as complex as what you'd get from Shopify, but you do have the option of building a store. Other uh, uh, useful little features include, let's see, blogs and let's see, you can add bookings if you want to take appointments, schedule bookings, and there are third-party apps for that as well, you know. As you can see, it's a very simple way of doing things, and you can't just drag and drop things around like you can on, say, Wix or Squarespace. But you can edit text, some text, right on the page. But other text you have to edit manually in the interface by clicking that Edit button you saw on the right. All in all, Site123 is, as they say, quite, quite easy to use. Uh, you can change fonts and colors, you can change themes, you can add calls to action. I just changed the, the color theme of my website, the whole thing right there, see how different it looks. 
Uh, you can change. I can change the fonts over here. Open Sans. There we go. I would have went, went with Open Sans. Let's go with Roboto. It's a little different. See? Let's go with something very different. Let's make it look a little elegant with the, the nice serif font over here. Tons of options. Uh, let's see. Let's change the header. I can take out things like the email address. I can take out things like show and phone numbers. As you can see, the icons over here are being edited when I do that. You can also edit individual font sizes for different elements. I'm editing the website menu over here. Let's go to general options. There are all kinds of different headers as well. There we go. Over here down in settings, you can make further edits to the header. And when you're done actually building your site, you can just return to your dashboard over here. And this is the domain, uh, the, the free domain you get. Now, if you want something a little more readable, you have to pay. You have to, because the, the, the free plan is really just a free trial. If, you're, if we're being perfectly honest here. But you can easily upgrade your domain. Uh, you can see the messages you get from forms on your website, the bookings, the blog posts. There's, you can even manage a mailing list from site one, two, three. Connecting an existing domain is as easy as searching for one. We'll call it Cleocatra Rocks, just, you know. And it shows you what's available. And that's really about it for building your website. This is something you can do if you already have the content. If you have um, text and image, images to upload and text to copy paste, you can rebuild your website in Site123 in anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple of hours maximum. Uh, of course, if you're writing everything from scratch and picking photos, it's going to take a little longer, but it's still a very smooth experience. Not as customizable as others, but smooth. Now, the support experience is actually not bad at all. There's live chat, and you can send emails, of course. And there are there is also a support center with FAQs and things like that, but it's not terribly detailed. There are some question and answers. There are various ways you can get help, but the live chat right here is probably the easiest one. All right, now we finally get to talk pricing. Uh, the basic plan, the most easy, like the, the simplest plan at all, that basically just allows you to connect a domain name and you get a free domain name for one year. Uh, it gives you 10 gigabytes of storage and five gigabytes of bandwidth per month. And it removes that little uh, site one, two, three advertisement at the bottom. That costs about 12 to $13 uh, a month at the time of this recording. And honestly, that's not bad. Uh, a site one two three is hardly the cheapest site builder out there, but it is not. It is far from the most expensive. So you know you've got options, and I think the pricing for all the features it provides is pretty fair. Now before I wrap up, I do need to talk about some downsides. I did mention before. The site editor itself is not very flexible. It's not very customizable. You can't drag and drop things wherever you want. Well, I should also, if I'm perfectly honest, discuss the theming and templating system in Site123. The problem is that there are no real templates as such. What there is is a design system. You can easily pick and choose colors and fonts like I showed you before. And you can, at the beginning, choose a sort of preset design. But that preset design is just made up of the different sort of content blocks you can pick and choose anyway from the actual site editor. Now, that's not such a bad system. It's very modular. And you can create some semi-different looking templates that way. But honestly, a lot of the sites built with Site123 are going to look very samey, almost identical in some cases. The, uh, abil uh, the inability to truly customize your website's layout is kind of a problem there. I'm not going to lie. But that's what you get for the easiest site builder. When you, when you make something... Oh, hold on, sorry, I bumped my mic. When you make something incredibly easy to use, that involves re uh, removing or reducing the complexity as much as you can. Removing complexity means removing features and control and customization. 
So while Site 123 is very quick and simple to get started with, and a lot of you out there, that might be exactly what you're looking for, it's, you know, if, if you want to create a fancier site, if you want to learn, to grow, to expand your knowledge of web design, you'd be better off picking um, something like Wix or the new Wix Editor X or Webflow or <laughs> actually uh, Squarespace and quite a few other uh, <laughs> site editor options out there. Uh, to wrap it all up, Site123 is a decent little program for people who just need a site fast. Quickly, fast, and for a reasonable price. Like I said, if you have the content there already, you can just make a, you can just assemble your site in minutes if you have everything you need. And as a bonus, if you're feel like it's not right for you, it's, if it's not working out, if you've already committed some money, you have 14 days to cancel. That's a 14-day money-back guarantee. No free trial as such, although you can use the free plan to test out the service. But if you pay and you're starting to regret it, you've got two weeks to shut it all down. Uh, it can take up to 72 hours, however, for a representative to get back to you. You have to contact support to actually cancel and delete your Site123 accounts, but it's possible. And all right, I hope that was useful to you. I hope you learned something about Site123 and have a better idea of whether or not you actually want to use it yourself. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing off. Mm -hmm.